On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Trek Marlin 6. The Trek Marlin series is Trek's entry-level mountain bike series, and the Marlin 6 is one down from the very top of the line in that series. So we're gonna go into some of the features and design that make this a pretty interesting bike, as well as find out what it weighs. But before we get started, consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So the Trek Marlin series is a pretty neat bike because it comes with a nice lightweight aluminum frame. It's gonna come with features such as rack and kickstand mounts, and it's gonna be a geometry that's gonna allow the bike to be able to do more than just mountain biking. And by that, I mean this is a great entry-level mountain bike, but it also works to be a great bike if you wanted something to go around with the family that had solid off-road chops, as well as able to do a little more multitasking. That aluminum frame we talked about is made out of what Trek calls their alpha silver aluminum. So this is gonna be an internally cable routed frame. It's got some pretty neat features to it. It has those rack and kickstand mounts like we talked about. The Marlin frame set certainly falls into the side of a more beginner friendly geometry, running a 69 and a half degree head tube angle, a seat angle of 73 degrees, and then a chainstay length of 438, which would make this a pretty fun bike for lighter style terrain, for some road riding if you wanted to. And it comes with a 100 millimeter front fork, which is gonna give plenty of suspension travel when taking it off road. So the fork that's on this bike is the SR Suntour XCT30. This is a coil spring fork and really neat for this bike is it's gonna have a hydraulic lockout. And the beauty behind the hydraulic lockout on this bike is gonna be that while you're on a extended climb, maybe you're on pavement, you're gonna be able to lock out the front suspension from bobbing around. The other neat thing to talk about with the Marlin series, is gonna be the wheel size that comes on the frame. So with these Trek Marlins, an extra small and a small are gonna come with a 27 and a half inch wheel and a medium through extra large are all gonna come with a 29er. Now Trek is doing that because they wanna be able to have the largest wheel size that fits the rider. So in this case, we're checking out a medium, which is the first size that comes with these 29s. And that makes for a nice setup because a larger wheel is gonna make it easier to roll over things when you're out on the trail. But the other neat thing is, is if you were to use this as a hybrid, a 29 inch wheel is actually the same diameter as a 700C. So you could put a more slick tire on this if you wanted to. Now, uniquely to the Marlin 6, this is gonna come with a two by eight drivetrain. Is sporting a Shimano Altus M310 eight speed rear derailleur, which goes to the Shimano HG 31 11 to 34 cassette runs through a KMC Z 8.3 chain to this Shimano 2x crankset. So this is the Shimano M315 crankset. It runs a 3622 chainring combination and of course an Altus M315 front derailleur. And to shift the bike, this is going to be set up with Shimano's Altus M315 shifters. These are rapid fire shifters, which means you have an index finger and a thumb button to operate. You're gonna have the gears called out in these indicators, which are gonna make it really nice and easy to control the bicycle. Also up front, we should talk about the brake setup. So this is running Tektro's M276 hydraulic disc brakes. These are a mineral oil hydraulic disc brake. They're operating a two piston caliper with 160 millimeter six bolt rotors, both front and rear. For a cockpit, this runs Bontrager alloy stem and a very nice and wide Bontrager alloy handlebar. The grips are gonna be Bontrager's XR Endurance Grip. This grip is pretty neat because it's got a flat spot for your palm, which should make it nice and comfortable. And then for a saddle, this bike is running the Bontrager Arvada saddle. This has steel rails, it's 138 millimeters in width, and it's mounted up on this aluminum 30.6 seat post. Connecting to the ground, this bike is running 
Bontrager's XR2 Comp tires. These are a wire bead tire. They're 29 by 2.2. These are a pretty fast rolling wire bead tire with 30 TPI construction and they're mounted up on these Bontrager connection rims. So now that we've taken a look at this Trek Marlin 6, let's go ahead and see what this 2021 Trek Marlin 6 weighs. The actual weight of a Trek Marlin 5 comes in at 30.34 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Trek Marlin 6. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video.